Hello and welcome to Belgian Diacast Restorations. My name is Johan and on my workbench I have another Majorette model. This 160 scale Volkswagen K70 was produced by Majorette between 1973 and 1976 and had quite a few color variations. This metallic blue-green model with the trademark three spoke wheels was only produced for one year between 1975 and 1976. Like most Majorette models, this Volkswagen has opening doors, a metal tow hook and a patented Majorette suspension. I have yet to encounter a single Majorette model with a broken suspension. Nevertheless, this model has seen a lot of play. The paint has flaked, the windows are scratched and clouded up and the chrome on the wheels is all but gone. Both A-pillars are broken and on closer inspection the side pillars have also detached from the roof. I'm not a big fan of the color and I don't think the K70 was ever produced in dark metallic green. In the catalog the car is mostly of a dark yellow and since we're doing a custom I'll also do some detailing on the grille, the front and the rear lights. The car is held by one rivet in the front. The rear bumper slides into the back keeping the car together. I drill out the rivet and the bottom plate comes loose. We have the interior and the window unit, the two doors and the spring. The suspension and the wheels are in good condition. No rust or bent axles, so they just need to be freshened up. The casting, the doors and the spring go into the caustic soda to strip the paint. Like with all major red paints, they are no match for the caustic soda and after a couple of minutes we are down to the bare metal. With the paint gone we have a clear view of the damage. The bottom plate was the only thing that held the car in shape and the casting is slightly twisted. A few taps with a small hammer and a wooden dowel help to straighten the car and align the pillars. I use super glue and baking soda to glue the pillars back in place. It's important not to go wild with this stuff as it hardens like concrete and is very difficult to remove. Next it's a matter of filing away the excess glue until we get a flat and clean surface. With the pillars repaired it's time to wire brush the casting. Next I drill a pilot hole in the rivet and tap a 2mm screw thread.
I made the mistake to prime the car with the grey primer. Since the car will be sprayed yellow, I should have used a white primer here. As suspected, even after three coats of paint, the model still wasn't covered. Especially the edges and grooves on the model refused to take any paint, so I decided to start over. Putting the model back in the caustic soda also destroyed the bonds of the superglue, so I had to redo the repairs on the pillars. However, this gave me the chance to align them even better. This time I went for the proven formula of Tamiya White Fine Surface Primer. For the color I could have used the spray can again, but I decided to airbrush the car as this gives me more control and allows me to apply very thin layers and get into those deep lines of the model. The Vallejo Medium Yellow looks a lot brighter on camera than in real life. It's very close to the dark yellow in the brochure. When the color coat is hardened, I chrome the tail lights, the door handles and frame around the front grille with Molotov Chrome. Then I gave the taillights their appropriate colors with Tamiya Clear Red and Orange. Finally, I sealed the paint job with a clear coat of AK Interactive Gloss Varnish. This brand of varnish doesn't dull the malt of chrome unlike other brands. As the paint cures, it's time to address the rest of the car. First, I wirebrush the base plate. Then I mask off the front bumper. I apply Humbrol 33 matte black enamel paint to the front grille and headlights. Finally, the headlights, the logo and the chrome elements are also picked out with a lot of chrome pen.
I polish the axles and the suspension using the wire brush. This leaves them shiny again. The wheels get a coat of heavily tinted Tamiya X1 gloss black, then the spokes are re-chromed with a mod of chrome pen. Finally, I polish the windscreen until it looks clear and shiny again. With all the parts cleaned up and painted, we can reassemble the car. The wheels are attached to the base with the suspension spring. Then I attach the doors. I went a bit overboard with the layers of paint and the doors are very tight fit. It's at that moment that the repaired A pillars give away. Luckily, I managed to glue them back together and a few brush strokes of paint make the brakes invisible again. After the necessary repairs, I can continue the reassembly with the window piece and the interior. Then the bottom plate is attached to the body with a screw. The Volkswagen K70 is a very nice 70s car and I think I did it justice with the paint job and the detailing. I struggled a lot with the paint and the broken A-pillars and the doors turned out slightly lighter. So I feel I could have done better on this model. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and take that notification bell. More restorations are coming up. See you in the next video.